Hey guys, how's it going? I have this really fun stamping tutorial for you today. It uses a Winstonia stamping plate and I use one special Conad polish but you could probably just use a regular dark polish as well. Um, it's pretty fun. It's kind of geeky. It kind of reminds me either of Pac-Man or of R2-D2. <laughs> so if you want to know how to do this design, just keep watching. For the base color, I am using a metallic blue and I'm using Blue Rhapsody by Essie. Apply this color all over your nail and allow it to dry completely before we start with the stamping. For stamping, I'm using Winstonia Image Plate W113 and I'm using this sort of grid-like image on the left you see there. I am using a Conad Special Polish. I'm using a dark blue. Apply it all over the image. Scrape it off with your scraper. Pick it up with your stamper and apply it across your nail doing your best to make sure that the lines are horizontal and vertical. And I'm just going to use a brush that's been dipped in some nail polish remover to clean up any of the nail polish that got onto my cuticle. Next I'm using a detail brush to draw in yellow lines in the little sections of the design where it has those dots that are connected by the lines in the dark blue section. The yellow polish I'm using today is Hit the Lights from Nicole by OPI. Do your best to make these lines as thin as possible because we are going to add dots on the ends of them but we don't want the dots to have to be too big. Once you've got all your lines in, go in with a dotting tool. Once you've got all your lines in, use a dotting tool to create the larger dots on the ends of each of the lines. And just to add a little more accent and fun to this design, I'm going to use that same dotting tool, dip into a white polish, and add white dots in any of the other intersections of the darker blue polish. Once I've given this design a few minutes to dry, we can just finish it off with a layer of top coat. The top coat I'm using today is CND Air Dry. And that's it for this design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.